Hey, this is Mike with AskTractorMike.com. I'm speaking today at the National Farm Machinery Show with Stephen Bartu, who is the Product Marketing Director for Ag Products for Kubota. That is correct. And, and Stephen, you've got some new products out this year, maybe not revealed at this show, but right. new products come into dealers that are shipping right now. Tell us what's sure. new. I'll uh, start at the small end, the new BX80 series, which is really we created the, the, new, uh, the subcompact market. Uh, we're launching those models. We're going to start shipping those right after this show. So dealers will start seeing those in their in their dealerships. Um, as you move on up, we've got the new M6S, which is our utility, kind of a 100 horsepower standard version tractor. That replaced our old M108S, so that's been in the, in the works. Um, for the hay tools, we have the new BV4580 BV baler. It's the five by six entry. So this is our third year into the baler business. We start off with four by fives, four by sixes. Now we've got the 5x6 baler that we're rolling out. Uh, Dismore conditioner, we have a new 13-foot roller machine uh, that's new to our lineup. From a technology standpoint, we just uh, signed an agreement with a company called SmartPath. It's really geared towards the uh, municipalities, airports, uh, kind of a precision guidance mowing system. And that's a new technology. We, we just signed that, that agreement with that company, so we have an alliance with them. Let's start talking about the changes in the subcompact tractor. So mo most of the people that watch my channel are weekend farmers, and that's one that's going to appeal to them. What's different in that product line? The, the thing we've tried to focus on the subcompact is ease of operation, and when I say operation, uh, attachments. So we have a new swift attach front end loader. You can completely take the loader off without getting off the seat. It's the only loader that you can do that. You can remove hydraulics, disconnect everything literally from the seat of the tractor. So uh, beyond that, we have what we call a factory option for a cab. It is a it is a, a add-on cab, but we bring it in-house, and it's it's uh, more factory design than like what we've had in the past with the soft side cabs. So it gives a nice uh, uh, comfort area. Uh, when you shut the doors, it sounds like a factory cab. It has a, a heater system that's more equipped like a factory cab would be. Same thing on the on the uh, the. Uh, front end loader on the bucket. We now have the, the uh, skid steer quick attach as standard. So just trying to make it easier for the customer. We have the four point quick disconnect on the backhoe, which we've had and we and recently in the past we introduced the easy over drive over deck. So that's really what we try to focus in on is, is somebody that's not comfortable necessarily changing out attachments, how to make that easier for them. The, the loader that comes off from the seat of the tractor, uh, uh, is, that, is that just in the subcompacts and do you plan to expand that? Right now it's just in the subcompacts, but we are looking at, at bringing that up through the lineup. So we've had really good feedback from, from customers and our dealers about that. The under 40 market has been really strong, uh, probably maybe under 50. The, the, the weekend type farmers, the people I talk to have been buying lots of equipment. Um, where do you see that market going in the future? Is it continuing to be strong? and what, do you, want to reveal any products you're working on that we can look for in the future? Well, as far as the market, you know, it has been strong for a number of years. Uh, obviously, you know, we're in a transition period politically. There's a lot of, you know, we don't know where that's going to go. So, you know, housing starts are still good. Interest rates are, are steady. So every all the indicators that we see is that it will continue, at least for the, the near future. As far as uh, products, you know, looking at technology, trying to see, you know, everybody's buying these as pretty tech savvy for the most part um, looking to see where that could go possibly what brings value you know you can you can put technology on products if it doesn't bring value to the customer then there's no you know reason to do that we're trying to you know I think somewhere down the road you'll see more of that type of, of uh, offering come down through the lineup for customers Alrighty, and of course Kubota is a major player in the game and uh, uh, we talked a little bit about hay tools I, I guess that's not something I really speak to to my channel, but you've recently gotten into Hay Tools, um, and and uh, you've also gotten into a little bit bigger tractor than we've been used to in the past. So, uh, do you see Kubota eventually? And again, this doesn't really impact my viewers that much, but it does the world market uh, becoming a full line player, clear on up through the top end of the tractor. Probably three, four years ago, Kubota made the direct decision to get on the path to become a full line global ag supplier. So, M7 tractor in the Hay Tools was really the first stepping stone. Um, in the future, do I expect us to expand? Yes. But our, our primary concern right now and, and uh, the way we're going about it is build a solid foundation with what we have before we try to expand any further. But that's definitely a possibility in the future. All righty. 
Hey, I appreciate you watching my YouTube videos. I'd be honored if you'd subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my Facebook page, and share this video with other tractor enthusiasts. And hey, if you've got questions or comments, put them below. We'll try to answer them. Hey, thanks for watching.